What about the pattern keep commons and commerce distinct? That seems like difficult advice. Let me put it this way. Even though the largest 300 cooperatives in the world have sales of about $2.2 trillion, capitalism remains the dominant economic system. Why is this? It's because many cooperatives haven't found the cultural means to keep commoning and commerce distinct. They let money and market interests prevail over social and ecological goals. A top priority of any commons, therefore, is to protect itself from the often predatory capitalist market order. A commons has to prevent investors and corporations from appropriating the things that belong to all of us. It has to establish a different logic for meeting needs. This means that commons must preemptively protect the integrity of their social order, their community, their shared purpose, the inalienability of their care wealth, their solidarity. Commons can do this by carefully controlling how they interact with markets so that money doesn't begin to co-opt and corrupt the community. It's important to establish certain social practices and norms that encourage cooperation over competition, for example. You need to devise legal hacks that help a community avoid selling out or becoming overly dependent on markets. If they succeed in this, commons become a kind of seed form for a post-capitalist order. They're able to protect themselves from co-optation and avoid the pathologies of capitalist extraction and exploitation. They can begin to meet needs in stable, effective, fair-minded ways. Interesting. I'll share it.